it took me some time to figure out how to run multiple instances of Business Central in Windows without using Docker, the Docker container. And this is how you do it. So uh, I will send, I'll, uh, we will use the PowerShell. Okay, the, what is it called? The Business Central Administration uh, Shell. Is in, it's known as what the business central administrator shell shell command okay oh so many errors here let me just clear it <laughs> okay so you launch it as administrator uh the business central administrator shell let me just relaunch it just search it Okay, this video is uh, will not show you how to install v Business Central. I'm assuming that you have already installed uh, your Business Central and it's up and running. Only that you're not maybe able to run it on the web server, on the website, just because you have another instance that is running. When you launch the, the shell or um, the administration shell, you'll see so many uh, CMD lets here. They'll be listed. So... We are going to use the new web server command, but uh, let me go to the official website of Microsoft. New nav web server instance. This is the command that we'll use. It has got different parameters. It's a partial command, like we have the web server instance name, the server server instance, uh, DNS identity, uh, help server, etc. So it just creates a new web server instance. So for this uh, demonstration, make sure that you are uh, your nav is running for me i'm using bc180 the business central server instance should be running up and running and then we have examples here that we'll use um this one creates a subsite a subsite is uh is where you have um this existing uh business central and you have a subsite a subsite will appear under this uh, business central uh, microsoft dynamics business central web client but the best uh, working solution that i've found is creating a root site a root site appears under the sites uh, on this side so how do we get to create a root site so let's take this example example two uh, it creates a root site uh, the root site example helps uh, it enables us specify the port number and that's a very key thing in this uh, whole thing uh, we'll be able to specify the port number as i will show you in a moment i've just copied that we have different parameters with positions uh, but again the order doesn't matter as long as you specify this keyword the order doesn't really matter so the other thing that we'll need here is um, the where is it is it the port number site deployment type should be root site that's a key thing for you to be able to create a root site and then finally the website port uh, this is the thing that will really enable us to now specify the port that we want to use so i'll go back to my administrator and paste this command here so we are having uh let me let's say the the web server instance it's a name that we can uh we can specify you can say bc tutorial and then the server for me it's localhost server instance now is the running instance on the machine so for me my server instance is bc180 and then the site deployment type should be very keen here make sure you have set it to root site so that you can create a root site and then the last parameter that will add that is not uh, existence in that it's not in that example is the website port uh for me let me use just 8050 and then you now create your um, uh, web server instance we expect to see bc tutorial uh with that it means it has done in our iis so i'll go straight to iis and then i refresh uh this okay the sites should be the sites that is refreshed We'll refresh the sites and then we'll, we'll see bc tutorial and then we'll have uh, the the uh, port number here where you can browse and it loads your 
bc instance on that port number i think it will prompt me for a username and password and from there i have i'll be able to launch my business central website and that is how you can be able to run multiple instances of business central um using windows uh directly okay i'll see you in the next video and may god bless you